Rafa has been perhaps the most influential person in the world of international rafting during the past three decades. I first met Rafa over 30 years ago in Siberia when we were athletes competing in the first international rafting competition. That event was the first of many that were staged on various rivers around the world, which eventually gave rise to the formation of the International Rafting Federation. Rafa was a founding member of the IRF and served on the board of directors for most of that time, including as president, vice president. After he stepped down, Rafa became our first honorary president, where he continued to serve the IRF until his passing. He and his company, Rios Tropicalis, also hosted and directed several World Rafting Championship events, one of which was the first ever World Championship level event in history to be certified as carbon neutral. This kind of thing is what made Rafa special. His ideas were visionary in tying rafting to sustainability, and rafting is a vehicle to get people outside on rivers so they could see firsthand why rivers deserve to be protected. Principally due to Rafa, sustainability and river conservation objectives were written into the IRF bylaws as guiding principles behind everything we do. Rafa also is one of the architects of our guide training and education system, recognizing that getting people out onto rivers needed to be done in a safe and responsible manner. On top of Rafa's huge list of accomplishments, perhaps the single most valuable thing he gave to rafting was his unwavering sense of community. Rafa recognized early that one of the greatest attributes that rafting has, and where the IRF could make its greatest contribution, is our ability to bring people together from around the world and from all walks of life to set aside any barriers that may divide us. Rafa was one of those rare individuals who did much more than just talk about how to make rafting and the world a better place. He actually rolled up his sleeves and went to work to make it happen. All of us in the rafting community owe Rafa a tremendous debt of gratitude. He was a legend, and I'm proud to have called him my friend.